Well, hello, hello, fellow white shavers. How's everybody doing today? Me right here, Nomeo Shaves back with another shaving video. I know it's been a little while, but I have been on vacation. The last three weeks, four weeks has been crazy for me, crazy busy. But my vacation was in New York City. <clears throat> Had an amazing time, fantastic freaking time. And as you can tell, I might be looking like a raccoon because God, it was hot hot there and I forgot to take a hat so I got a little bit sunburned but um that's not what this shave is about that's not what this video is about anyways this video is about something that I picked up at Pastor's yes I, I did get a chance to go to Pastor's I'll go into that here in a minute but let me just get into what I'm going to be sh shaving shaving with today and I'm, I'm pretty excited about this you can probably tell from the thumbnail what it is but this is I'm, I'm going to butcher this name Abati Y Lamantia Isaac um, so this is this is this is a soap that it, I've been curious about it for a long time but some of the same descriptions I'm not sure so I didn't want really want to get it and then be disappointed you know what I mean I, I, I don't like that great thing about going to pastors is, or pastors is you can smell everything it's it's an amazing store and, it, and I got to smell so many things but I was pressed for time but I'll talk about that here in a second got something on my phone sorry guys but but the scent on this I have mentioned before that I don't really care for fruity scents because there's, there's a sweetness to a lot of the, the fruity soaps that I smell that I just don't like. But with this one, it's black fig and green apples. Um, yes, you get that green apple, but man, that, that, that fig just kind of cuts that sweetness and it's just, it's really, really, really nice and it's, it's very bright, it's clean. I like it. I, I wouldn't go as far as fresh, but it's a clean, bright scent. Um, not overly sweet. It's it smells like a freaking apple. It's nice, man. It's really nice. Um, now, this video is probably going to go on a little bit because I'm going to be talking about all kinds of shit. It's been, it's, I, well, it is what it is. But uh, so Spencer, I, I know he's going to give me some shit for this um, because of a comment that I put on one of his one of his pictures for a shave of the day picture the other day. Now I've said in the past, I, I I'm not a fan of the, the tins, right? But one thing that sold me, I saw, I, I'm kind of OCD in where I like my packages, my, my, my tubs and stuff to, to stay clean. You know, these, I got some, I got a couple of tins and they got dents in it. Every time I go to it, it just drives me crazy because I, I can't fix it, right? Even like, like stickers, like the price tag stickers, I'll take those off and I'll clean off the, 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 the residue that they leave, right? That's my OCD thing when it comes to shaving. But one thing that kind of sold me on this was um, the packaging. Look at this. I didn't even, I, I love this packaging so much. I didn't even cut the, the little ribbon. I just kind of peeled it off to the side. But look at this. So, they, I mean, they put like a wax seal on there and stuff. But check this out. You open it up and it's all nicely packed like this. How can the tin get damaged in something like this? Man, you got to be crazy to store it across the room for it to get damaged. But I, I love the packaging on this. I mean, look at the label. Look at that. That is just freaking awesome. Yeah, it, it is a tin, and it, it sort of kind of drives me a little bit crazy. But the only, the only one that doesn't come in a tin is their Crocos, which was double the price, so I, I didn't get that one. But now let me go ahead and... So now you know what the, sh the soap is that I'm going to be using. My post Shave, I, I have nothing to go with this. Nothing. No sense at all to go with this. God, it's freaking hot. So I just got... My Witch Hazel, and I've got Sterling Unscented Glacial, and the Sterling Unscented Glacial Balm is hot. And then I got Witch Hazel. I'm um, using a Sterling brush, and I'll be using my Kamasori today. Yes. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of that. But, uh, okay. I got my, um, I got the soap blooming. It's a soft soap, so I probably shouldn't have bloomed it, but what the hell? I like blooming my shit. Okay, let me put this on my face, and then... Let's get going for already four minutes into this thing. Ooh, that's nice. So far, so good. No reactions. Oh, 
this is good. Wow. I like this so far. Really nice. Yeah, this is gonna be a cold water shave for sure. Now that I have the room water empty, let me um show you the packaging really quick of this soap. Dry my hands off. Alright, so look at this. Can you guys see that? Really, really nice. And then there's this soap. So I mean it, it's it's soft too, so you're gonna have to load it pretty carefully. So this is a sterling brush. So I did not test leather this, so it's brand new. We're gonna go ahead and load it up. So the only other Italian type soap that I've used is well, can you can you count Parasso? But um razor rock soaps. And I haven't had the greatest luck with those, but I've got a feeling that's gonna change today. Yeah, I mean I mean my vacation was just absolutely amazing. It was my my wife and daughters, they they pretty much um planned every single minute we were there so and I, I didn't let's see a little bit more so I really wanted to get every time I had some free time to try to go to pastors um it was closed <laughs> right I mean we weren't going to bed until after like 1 1 a.m but I was on vacation I didn't care so I ended up going to pastors the morning we left So basically, I only the place opens at eight, and of course, it would have to rain that day. And whoever the person was responsible for opening was late. I would assume because of the rain. But man, I was—I think I was the first customer in there. There was one guy waiting, but he was a, ended up being a worker there. That poor guy. All right, so there it is. I just cleaned off the soap. But yeah, that place is just freaking amazing. So, because I didn't have a whole lot of time, I really had to kind of key in on some of the stuff that I just really, really wanted to to smell and, and take a look at. Now, I believe this is the vegan soap. Oh, I don't. I don't think I mentioned how many days of growth this is. This is um about three and a half. I I didn't shave. I shaved once on vacation. And that was um, Tuesday. Taking some water in here. Oh yeah, the scent on this is really, really nice. So apparently they do put um, apple juice in here, which is pretty neat. So yeah, obviously I'm super behind in videos. I didn't watch any on vacation. <laughs> no time. But today, I'm actually on call. So I got a little bit of stuff, paperwork to do that I, I need to, uh, I need to look into some emails and whatnot, but it should be a, Hopefully a relaxing day and I can watch a couple videos. Put on about five pounds or so. Not too bad actually, I was surprised. I was expecting a bit more. So now I'm coming in at 152 today. It's 
Sorry guys, it's taking a little while. I just want to make sure I get this lather right. Never used this stuff before. Okay, that's good. Look at that. Nice. Just barely had a little sheen on it. It's hot, oh my gosh, so today's supposed to be like the hot, one of the hottest days of the, of the, of the, maybe not of the year, but man, in my area, it's supposed to be, um, the 90s today, that's, that's just ridiculously hot. Blade in here is the, um, Kai Captain Mild Pinks that I got from Trevor B. Trevor, thanks again, I love these blades, I really, really, really do. Um, this is the 5th or 60, who's I? I think I forgot to mark the last time I used it, so this will be the sixth if that's true. All right, guys, first pass with the grain. Right side. There we go. I missed using this too. Man, this is a nice soap. Wow. Man, these blades just keep going. Beautiful. So, I, I don't know if you guys... So... Something else that I picked up, it, I don't know if I should talk about all these, but one thing I really wanted to get in, in, at Pastors was the NYC soap from a &E. But... They were sold out. So old uh, Peter Sharkalis, the awesome dude that he has really worked with me to, to get me a set. So I got a set. I'll talk about that later. Later. So I did get some uh, pretty cool Father's Day gifts from my family when I was in New York. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use those in my next shade, which I'm hoping to, to get done tomorrow. All right, left side there. Which is Sunday night. This will be a nighttime shave. Should I can't see. God dang, I'm sweating. Man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh. I might have to take another damn shower. So at Pastors, for this brand of soap, they had um, the Crocos, they had Don Jose, Vulcan, the Isaac. Was, was there one more? If they had the Butterroot, I would have gotten that one, but they didn't have that. So this was the actually the best one of the of the bunch that of the, of, the, of the scents that they had. I like this one. I didn't get a chance to smell Don Don Jose because it was it was they didn't have a, a sample open to smell. I 
I thought I was gonna like the, the um, Vulcan, but I think it's those Caspian seeds that kind of throw the scent off for me. Jugular. So for my diet, I was I want to try at least maybe for just seven days is um, going strict carnivore, which is like zero carb. See what that does for me. Couple weeks ago, one of the um, markets here, it's a chain here in California called Lucky's. They do these um, five for five. Man, that was a great first pass. So you, they do all these meats that are five for five. You, you get five of them, and they're five bucks each. Um, great deal, but. Oh man, that was a great first half. Man, that thing is just mulling through the hairs. This is awesome. But they also had um, London Royal Steaks, which is a top round, I think, cut. Buy one, get one free. So I got a bunch of those too, because I was planning to do the um, carnivore diet. I like to do it for a month if I can. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful cream. Or lather. Look at this. Man, this is good soap. I like it. It's soft. It is soft, so you have to try not to load so heavy. Otherwise, you're going to wash a lot down the drain. That's like 23 bucks for a, for one, right? So that's okay. You got you to gotta be able to treat yourself sometime, right? I mean, Someone had commented on one of my videos that, you know, it's good to treat yourself. And, and he was totally right. You know, you work your ass off. It, it's not worth to just work your ass off and just save, 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 save. I mean, you you, you really do have to enjoy your money. You, you really should. Um, but granted, I mean, we all come from different backgrounds, right? So, I mean, my luxury item is going to be different from your luxury item. To me, a luxury soap is 22 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know there's some that 60 and higher, but okay, so this is going to be the, my cross grain. But it's more like a, a hybrid cross with, I mean cross against. You guys watching soccer? I got that playing on playing in the background right now. I was at the airport. It was Argentina and, and um, Croatia? Oh, Argentina just kicked the shit out of Croatia. Holy cow, is it 3 nothing? Ooh. Well, man, at the, the bar at the, uh, the terminal uh, by the gate, oh my gosh, there was so many people and people are screaming and... It was it was hilarious. Oh, that cold blade feels good. Get that um, straight razor taken care of too. Got so much shit to do.
God dang, this is a good shave. I'm really enjoying the heck out of this. Man, this is great. I'm so excited about this shave. I forgot about my coffee. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at this the soap on here. Let's see, see that? This is and it just I mean it comes right off. Great slickness. A residual. Not too bad. Not too bad actually. Yeah, man, I eat so much dang food over there. It was freaking amazing. One of the first meals that we got. Oh, we had some tacos. If there's a taco stand over there, that was, oh my God, man. Some of the best pastor I've ever had in my life. Oh, that's fantastic. Had some really good pizza. And of course, we had some New York cheesecake. Man, if you look up cheesecake in um, New York City, you're going to come across a place called Junior's. Oh, they do it so right. They have this one thing called um, the New Yorker, New Yorker Shake or something like that. I forgot what it's called. But it's it's actually kind of expensive. It's double the price of their um, cakes. But when they bring it out to you, it's a freaking strawberry milkshake with a piece of strawberry cheesecake on top of it and whipped cream. Oh my God, it was so good. But oh man, it's really strange. So after you've been eating keto for a while, you um, really understand what carbs do to you. I ate that, oh my God, I felt like shit. I mean, it was horrible. I, brain fog, oh my God, it was terrible. I hated myself. <laughs> see there. But I don't do that all the time, you know, so only on vacation I'll, I'll eat like that. My God, I can't stop sweating. This sucks. Oh, someone just scored. And all Chris Maddox and pumping out all kinds of videos, man. I think he just posted the two thousand subscribers. That's freaking amazing. Congratulations, dude. And I think Spencer had 600? Man, that dude is freaking... I think Chris Madden said it too. He, he seems to be the... I don't think anybody has gotten subscribers that fast, right? As far as the wet shaving community goes.
Just trying to each shave, you know, I try to get a little bit closer than the last. Some angles are really hard to get with this with a shave head or a straight, you know, so. Not quite against the grain there, but well. So my next shave, I'm gonna be shaving with um, the stuff I got from Fought for Father's Day. I'm kind of excited about that. I'm gonna I haven't decided if I want to do a video of the stuff I got in Pesters or just you know just post some pictures on the Facebook groups. Alright, we're done. <laughs> Post shave, pretty good. The skin's not dry. I don't know how it's gonna feel in an hour, but I've got some other good stuff. All right, let's see if we can look at this. So because it's been sitting, it's it got a little bit foamy, but I mean, I probably didn't work it enough. Because I was kind of rushing myself because I was jaw jacking too much. And I really wanted to use the soap. Excellent. Let me rinse off my brush real quick while this is uh, lingering in. This cold water is hot and sweating like a stuck pig. Don't tell my wife. But I treated myself to a Father's Day gift. You know Sterling had that sale for um, City Slicker and um, Sterling for him. from all that junk food I ate. Woo! Um, go ahead with my mentholated organic witch hazel from Humphreys. I love this stuff. Slight tingle. I think I'm gonna have that stuff. Light reaction to the soap? Maybe not. <laughs> I dig this soap. Um, I, I think, yeah, this is a good soap. It's um soft, so you do have to be careful of that. But um, let's see if this will work. Oh, that feels good. I need to put a fan in here so I can not sweat after a shower. Ooh. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the mid 90s here today. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that at, at all. All right, now we're gonna put on some glacial. Sterling and Santa Glacial. Man, you cannot go wrong with this stuff. here Get some 
strong mental. Love it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back. <clears throat> New York is a fun place to visit. I couldn't see myself living there. Oh man, that place is so busy. And unfortunately, I mean, we we did do the you know the major tourist touristy stuff. Um, we ended up for one day had kind of like a a, a tour guide. Um, it was like a friend of a friend. Um, my wife had some. She's got a friend from high school that lives in Connecticut. Connecticut, and they came over and and, and met us there, and and her sister. Took us around. Oh man, it was a, it was a great time. They took us to some really good food, some a local br a place for brunch, and it was good, really, really good. Um, I had, had a fantastic freaking time. Um, there was a couple of people that live kind of in the general area of New York that I didn't get a chance to see, which I really wish I did. But one gentleman, it would have been a minimum if we could meet halfway, it would have been like an over three hour drive, and we we just didn't have the time for that. So brother, if you see this, I do apologize again. <laughs> Um, I'm still, my face is still kind of wet, but, oh, you know what, let me put the, the bomb on, screw it. I love this stuff. A little goes a long way. I'm only putting on this much. Man, that was a great shave. Oh, wow. Man, that was great. Really, really good. So if, if everything goes well, I won't be traveling until mid-July, which is what, like just two weeks away. Shit. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's it, guys. Um, This was a fantastic freaking shave. This was, I think, the sixth use on this on this uh, Kai Captain Mild. That bad boy just keeps on going. Star of today's show. Show? Abate y la Montia, Isaac, this stuff. They smelled great, but they seemed a bit too dark for me, if that's a right term. This one is, as soon as I smell it, it's bright, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, they use real apple juice inside here, um, but it's not, I, I, when, I, when I first read the description of this, when, it, when I first found this, this, this brand like months ago, I thought I was thinking it was gonna smell like apple juice, but no. Um, like I said, it's it's, it, it's not sweet like that. You you get the apple right away, and it stays throughout the shave. Um, but that that black fig just really gets rid of all that sweetness. So you just smell pure apple, and it's beautiful, beautiful. I love this soap. Um, and if I ever get my hands on butterroot, I, I, I want to try the butterroot because I, I love that 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 description of the tobacco. Right, oh, I like tobacco soaps. Um, everybody, that is it. Um, 34 minutes, not too bad. I did probably talk, I think I wasted about 15 minutes of talking. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> um, my Kai copy, copy, Kamasori. Um, I tried to find this on Amazon the other day, but I couldn't find it again. I lost the link, so I'm gonna have to look it up again. So if, if you want that link to that, just hit me up. Um, Sterling brush, flawless as, as always. You guys saw my um, Sterling Glacial Unscented Splash and Balm. Um, and that's it, guys. A little bit of coffee. Iced coffee. Man, it's so freaking hot. I'm sweating. I'm going to have to take another shower. Shit. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, those of you who have commented on my videos, I apologize for not getting back to you. It's Like I said, it's been a busy three weeks. Um, so I'll, I should start commenting or re replying to your comments here shortly, all right, guys? Um, but I do apologize. Well, that's it. I'm going to try to get it. I don't know how long is it taking me to get this video uploaded, but we'll see. Um, I've got a plan for tomorrow night's shave. Hopefully, I've got enough fuzz for, for that shave tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be Monday. Um, and that's it. And I'll record it and I'll post it because I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to use that stuff that I got for Father's Day. So, I can't, can't wait. Um... Yeah, that's it, everybody. Um, 35 minutes in, we've got to cut this video. And as always, guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. I do like the comments. Um, so I appreciate it. Um, 
Hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay hydrated. It's going to be hot this weekend in most parts of the world, or country, I should say. And I think that's it. And if there's been some new subscribers recently, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And until next time, as always, do not text and drive, everybody. Be careful. Take care. And bye-bye.